we did um, some bench talk testing, some in vitro testing. I think there was a little clip. Oh, the movies didn't work, so I didn't get to see. Um, but we had a little stretched device where we saw that collagen really did remodel like this. Um, and then we did a cadaver study, and then we did a first in human. Um, one of the first in human things that we did was to see what type of stretch works best. So static stretch where we leave the device in place for a really long time, or if we use it for three days a week or one day a week. And so what we saw that worked best was using it one hour a day um, for about 28 days, and we have three minutes of stretch in between. So um, that is one change that we've made so far. The other thing that we are doing um, in our cadaver studies, we used uh, medical devices that I built on my kitchen table with this nifty little uh, syringe as our suction. But um, in our next clinical trial, we actually have an electronic pump that will be outside. Um, as the cup goes in, it's attached with a pump. And then uh, our final product that we will get FDA approval with is still that disposable cup, but the pump attaches to the back and it's all inclusive. It's a little tiny thing that goes right in. So those are the um, things that will change in the future.